grip on Xbox One X. We're checking out this intense racing game where you go upside down on the walls, blow people up, and do all kinds of crazy things. I'd like to start by mentioning that there is a, by default, uh, film grain setting. So we're going to turn that on to the default so that you can see what it looks like, but uh, I immediately turned it off because it was bothering me. Uh, there is an intense techno music in the background, so I don't know if there's copyright, but I generally removed it. First off, we got a campaign. Uh, there's a few different tiers to it that you kind of work up, different tournaments within each of the tiers. I really don't care too much, to be honest, so I did played it. I mean, the campaigns in these aren't really ever anything too interesting, but it's a good way to learn the game. You play it, and it kind of introduces new mechanics to the game as you go through it. Then there's a single player, which is what we'll do in a sec. There's online multiplayer, which supports up to 10 players. There's split screen for four players local. And a garage, where you're able to pick a vehicle and customize it with different styles. Lots of different color options. And you can adjust uh, different things. Let's do the uh, same as a secondary. And you kind of you know, get a look at how that works. And you can change the body or the rims or the tires. Of course, there's different uh, tiers too. And then there's decals that you can add that kind of change the look of it. You unlock more stuff the more you play it. Tons of different tire designs if that's what you like. A bunch of different vehicles. Kind of lock a bunch of stuff. No, nah, we're not going to save. Uh, single player is where it's at. I mean, for most racing games, if there is the campaign again, if you want to do that, completely up to you. I don't care. Uh, races, a lot of different race options, time trials, ultimate races, classic races. There's arena-based games. You can go and attack people, and there's car core where it's like twists and turns and all that kind of weird stuff. People like parkour. It's super hot. So, whatever. We're just gonna do a classic race. You can see there are a lot of different levels present. Keep in mind that's one area, and then we switch over and see a bunch of different segments. We're gonna do, hmm, I don't know, let's do something funky like this level. And then you go over here, you can adjust the laps, the number of combatants, uh, pickups, catch-up assistance, destructible vehicles. Uh, catch-up assistance, interesting. Eh, mirror track, difficulty, we'll just do easy so I look like I'm doing good at this, engine power. We'll just do normal so that there's not any sort of weird problem. You can create a tournament from this of your own, kind of like what the campaign has. And then you can race and you get these cool little cartoon style things. So for the most part, it's, it's pretty good. So this is on Xbox One X. We are getting a 4K resolution with HDR support. You might have heard of this game, I believe it's called Grip Combat Racing on PC. Uh, that's kind of where it comes from. And I think it's, well, it's actually pretty good looking. It's not too bad. They got some really funky backdrops and stuff. But uh, yeah, the film grain just sort of isn't for me in this. And I don't know, I just, I'm not really digging it. So you get a look at the film grain here, you're seeing it on the screen getting an idea of it and then I'm gonna switch it off here so that you can see the difference and we're gonna keep it off for the entire time I just wanted to give an idea of what it actually looks like when you first get it you know how much like just it, it looks better without the film grain which is weird because usually I'm all for the weird technical tweaks and stuff but it doesn't quite work for me so there's power-ups as you can see that's the defensive one I have and then you can pick up more they're little kind of sparky type things you find on the map uh, this game is all about speed, so you've got a burst, you can see that around the uh, speed distance, I'm, well, the speed distance with the speed I'm going, you see that little green bar that's kind of loading up, that is a general boost that you have. Oh jeez, uh, but if you do mess up and stuff, you can hold back and sort of reset yourself, though you are at huge, well not huge, you're at a bit of a disadvantage when you do that. The game is all about speed, you get really punished if you're not uh, keeping your speed up. And then there's destruction and people blowing each other up with rockets or shooting machine guns. There's a lot of different power-ups and stuff. It's a funky little thing. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Blur, but they went for more of a, I guess, post-apocalyptic style world. That's what I'm kind of feeling. Uh, you can, there's all kinds of like environmental details. and Again, you can do some funky things. You can flip your car around. 
do tricks. Uh, there's items that you can... Oh, items. Uh, geez, come on. There's parts of the wall that you can go on. Sometimes you're, like, upside down. There's, it's just, like, a really funky sort of mixed up experience for driving. I think it works kind of well. I notice the AI is a bit uh, off at times. I don't know. It's it's fine. Ooh. Uh oh. This is weird. Uh, but performance and everything, pretty good. Your car can kind of like flip upside down too, and I think the the tracking for the camera is actually pretty good in this. That's at least what I feel. Sometimes it gets like way off, but for the most part, it actually does work quite well. Since when you get backwards, come on, car. I don't know, I, I think it's definitely a interesting sort of racing title. It's definitely a little bit different. I don't think there's many that are exactly like this. And it is kind of wild again, feeling kind of that blur vibe a little bit when I'm playing it. And there is quite a bit of content. I wish I, I knew a little bit more in regards to my positioning or really the ending of the, the race. You don't really get like a... Uh, it's not a clear indicator where the finish line is, so I'm not really pushing as hard as I could be. Now, I know there's an indicator on the top of the screen, but you're not really looking at that when you're playing. So we're going to do another one. Let's do... This one looks a little bit funky. We'll do the same setup. So you continue to get an idea of the visuals across the different environments. But yeah, there's, there's a fair bit of content in this. You know, you get a good amount of maps. I think visually it looks well. Uh, the maps are clean. I haven't really had any performance problems throughout it. Uh, there's lots of different settings for tweaking things, and you can just kind of race, and you can race again with that four-player split screen. Oh, jeez, this is a funky one, eh? So if you have, like, local buddies and you want to do some racing games a little bit more party style, I guess this one works really well for that. And then the online multiplayer, I think, could be a real blast if there's a, a good community behind it and stuff like that. This one's going to premiere on the Game Pass, so I imagine it's going to get... A uh, fair bit of popularity, at least off the bat. Jeez, come on. It is kind of weird, though, that you could just sort of get, like, completely stunned by, like, other players, or even, like, wipeouts from others. I guess that's sort of a wild angle to it, but you, you just notice how far you get behind as soon as you're not hitting those triggers, hitting those speed boosts. Crap. As I get all the way in 10th position here. So you can go from, like, first and get all the way at the back in, like, seconds. Jeez, come on. Yeah, this is kind of a weird thing. Like, I, I guess I have the, the ketchup assist on, but I've noticed sometimes, like, the AI just kind of, like, park themselves. It's a bit weird. I don't know. I, I think there's a little bit of some AI pathing issues in this one. But for the most part, they're, they're fine. It's nothing too bad. Boo! I think they've created a, a pretty funky sort of situation with this one and uh, have actually put together a pretty neat, blazing fast, uh, different racing game. I say different because I really haven't seen... Oh wow, as I like bomb myself. I haven't really seen anything that uh, exactly does anything like this, like with the, the movement of the tires kind of flipping you upside down all the time and stuff. And the mixture of combat style and that. I think that works well. Again, there's that full sort of kind of campaign that you can work through. There's a tutorial, too, if you need it. What is going on? Holy. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, just, like, if you are playing, remember to keep your, your boost going so that you're constantly speeding up. There's a good indication when you're getting attacked by things. I don't know if you've kind of noticed that on the, the screen. Why would it go after that one? Uh, the top left, you can sort of see the positioning of people. I really don't find it too helpful of an indication, but I guess it's clean and sort of out of the way. Oh, wow. And then the top right has the, the lap vests. Bottom left is where your power-ups are. So you'll notice there's a left and a right one. Those are in turn your bumpers. So I clicked like the left bumper to do the shield. If there was one in the right icon, I would click RB to unleash that one. See, again, like, the races, they just kind of, like, really catch up on you fast, and they just end. I, I have a hard time getting a sense of when the completion is, because I really like to know, because I'll put in a little bit more of a 
you know, intensity when I am trying to finish things up. Oh, that one sounds hard. Let's do it. And let's put the engine power to absolutely wild. And I don't know, I should put the difficulty up. We'll turn off catch up assist and see that dimension of it. I'm just trying to show off a good sense of what the game is so you get an idea of what you're to experience with it. You can also get a speed boost if you're kinda like perfect on the the timing at the start. You know, in tune with your actual little speed that you can shoot off while you're playing. I mean I think it tracks pretty well, clean UI that works lots of different options for customizing your experience. The music's pretty cool. It's, it's not bad. It's like a techno style that, that kind of fits into the design. Whoa! In the middle bottom, uh, you can see the deaths. Well, not deaths, but the attacks and everything is kind of indicated there. This is a funky level, eh? I don't know. I, I kind of like it when it's all flipping around and stuff. As long as it keeps you even when you're going. Jeez, because sometimes you just get knocked off. And you gotta reset, which can be uh, detrimental to your performance in the race. I don't know. I think Grip is it's not bad. It's a different type of racing game. I think it does some things really right, and it does pack a fair bit of content, which is nice. And I think the visuals are pretty good too. I, the film grade really doesn't do it for me. Might for you, I just and normally I, I don't really tweak the visual settings in games, but there was just something about it that I was like, I'm not really too into this. Oh, well, oh, jeez, into this being like you know having that film grain style over top of it. I guess it adds to that apocalyptic style they're looking for. You know, you get that Mad Max style, but a lot of this is sort of a futuristic cityscape too. So it's not all just run down, and that cleaner look lends itself better into that environment. What the heck is going on there? Jeez, okay. And as we're like just pushing it to the limit with intensity going along these pipes, I think it's kind of a cool game. It's, it's not bad. Uh, really cool environment. I mean, they got some nice stuff to it. Some of the levels have a little bit more simpler backdrops. This one, a little bit more funky. I like it, uh, but some of them are just kind of like grayed out stuff, and there's there's a good variety in the track setups. Some of them are smaller, some are bigger, uh, some have more wild jumps to them. One of them is just literally like a loop, kind of, and you're just going around either battling each other or just racing really fast. Again, the variety of modes is pretty good too, in terms of, you know, what you're competing with. Holy! Jeez. So you're not always just like racing if you'd like to. You can, that's just what I've been doing, but there are different types and setups to it. It's just, it's so neat seeing the car like flip upside down and stuff. I think that's kind of a, a, a really, again, different. You know, it's not something you see in a racing title. We'll do one more style race here. I think we'll, nah, crap, I didn't want to totally back out single player. I kind of want to do the, the deathmatch style. So you kind of get that. We'll do uh, the basin because I like the colors on that one. Wild engine. Kill limit. Four. We'll make it five. And then we'll fight. Fatality. Oh, here we go. So you're seeing the, the setup's a little bit different in this situation. And if we were playing the other. Combat-based modes. Sort of stack people on here. And I, I think it's kind of like a fun little weird twist to, to, to the action. A little bit more of a, a simple environment, though. Notice the, the textures on the ground there. Eat the bullets! So yeah, there's a couple different weapons. I guess you're seeing them a bit more in this than you would be in the actual race style. Performance does dip a little bit in this one if you have a whole bunch of people. Consider this like an ultimate stress test of it. But it is pretty clean for the most part. You know, in the core of it, like the racing and everything like that. 
Jeez, grab this stuff. So yeah, that's basically grip, you know? Tense action, combative modes, multiplayer, local multiplayer. Now, really just a variety of ways to play it however you'd like to. Damn. And I think the presentation's cool. I, again, suggest taking off that, the film grain style choice up to you, but wasn't doing it for me. I, I think it looks just fine without it, you know, that nice clean look. Oh, damn. <laughs> like, flipping of the cars are kind of cool, and the placement of things. It, it works pretty well as a, a little bit of an arena car battler. I don't know if there's like a genre name for it, like car carnage or something. As everybody's just blasting away and racing around really fast. To see if we can kill anyone else here. I think the, the skybox is pretty good too. You don't really notice it too much because a lot of the stuff is city based, but it appears to be. Yeah, it's a kind of a static, but you're not really looking at it too much. I always like to make a little bit of a comment towards the uh, the cloud situations in the games. Woohoo! That looked pretty cool. Do some really funky stuff. I think uh, some people are really gonna like that car, carp core. I think it was called car core that mode uh, for being something a little bit different for doing like tricks and stuff. I think that one's uh, got some neat potential. Wow, that did not work. So, anyways, uh, that was grip. I hope you enjoyed this look at it to get ready for the intense car-based action with combat and explosives. And yeah, kind of, kind of does feel like blur, doesn't it?